Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey and welcome back to my channel, Connecting with Spirit. So in today's video, I am going to be channeling some light language, a light language transmission for breaking you free from any and all curses that have been placed on you. So this includes curses that have been placed on you, like black magic, and also curses that have been placed on you in any past life, parallel life, or any other timeline or other versions of you um, as well as curses that have been placed on your ancestral lineage and your family line i'm also going to ask for immunity for you uh, so that means that you will be immune if someone tries to put a curse on you or use black magic against you in the future and we're also going to ask for the energy, that curse energy, to be returned to sender as well. So, if this sounds like something you would like to receive, please do give your permission in whatever way feels comfortable for you. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to ask my healing team of light to activate, activate, activate a sacred healing space around all of us energetically now and to anchor it in. I'm also going to ask Archangel Ariel, I'm going to appoint her as gatekeeper to only allow energies of the highest and purest love and light vibrational frequency in this sacred healing space. And I'm going to ask my healing team of light to connect me, connect me, connect me into all of the souls that have given their permission to receive this light language healing transmission for breaking curses. Thank you. So, if there is a specific intention, or if you know that a curse has been placed on you and you know what uh, curse that is specifically, do you feel free to uh, put in your requests or set an intention for whatever curse breaking or immunity you would like to receive during this healing session? And my intention for this light language transmission is to channel light language of the highest and purest love and light vibrational frequency from my heart to break any and all curses, black magic curses that have been placed on all those souls who give permission to receive this light language healing curse breaking session now and in the future and that includes breaking them free of curses in this life in past lives in parallel lives and in their ancestral line or lineage as well i'm going to ask for immunity against black magic curses or any and all curses any and all forms of curses so that the black magic or the curses can no longer affect you in any way shape or form in the future if someone tries to put one on you you are immune and i'm also going to ask for that curse energy that we break you free of for that energy to be returned to sender all with love gentleness ease and grace for your highest and greatest good and the highest and greatest good of all please and thank you very much. Amen.
So I'm just going to take you through a few bits and pieces to start off with to just energetically prepare you to receive these high frequency energies. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of a grounding and it's up to you if you would like to um, close your eyes or keep them open, whatever feels comfortable for you. But I'm going to call down uh, source energy from the heavens, from the sky, and it's going to come down into your soul star chakra and into your crown chakra. It's just going to open your crown chakra and switch on your light as this brilliant bright white light continues to flow down into your third eye chakra just opening your third eye chakra and illuminating the light within as the bright white light continues to flow and spiral down into your throat chakra opening your throat chakra and illuminating the light within as the source energy continues to flow down into your heart and your heart chakra opening them both up front and back and illuminating your light within as the brilliant bright white light continues to flow down across your shoulders arms and into your hands opening the palm chakras and shooting out your fingertips and illuminating your light within as the brilliant bright white light spirals and moves down into your solar plexus chakra opening and illuminating your light within as the brilliant bright white light continues to flow down into your sacral chakra opening and illuminating your light within as the bright white light continues to flow down into your root chakra illuminating and opening as the source energy flows down your legs into your knee chakras opening and illuminating down further still into your feet chakras opening and illuminating and down into the earth, into your earth star chakra, opening and illuminating. As the energy continues to spiral down through all the different levels and layers of the earth, through the crystal caves, picking up whatever energy you need there, and continuing down, deep down, further down still, into the heart of Mother Earth Gaia. And I'm going to ask that you are all plugged into the heart of Mother Earth Gaia now, please. Calling in Mother Earth Gaia. Calling in Mother Earth Gaia. Calling in Mother Earth Gaia. Hello, my dear. Could you please ensure everyone is anchored in separately and independently from each other and from me? And they're all connected into your heart. As the wind blows super strongly, so I am uh, thinking uh, the elements are coming in for this healing as well, particularly wind. I'm hearing to blow away any cobwebs and Annie's Stoker stagnant energy and also to aid with the breaking the curse energy so a wasp it's not the first one <laughs> that has flown around me just as I've been sitting here waiting to record the video and if you follow any of my healings you know that I am big into animal omens and it's called cryptomancy. So these are messages from the universe. And I usually uh, 
would see a lot of animals and use them as a form of divination for what's to come in the future. So wasp is a message that's coming in for some or all of you. So take it if it resonates. And just to find out what the message is, uh, you can just tune in to yourself, to your heart and ask, or you can um, search it, the spiritual meaning of wasp, and take the message that resonates. Thank you, Wasp, and thank you, Gaia. And I'm going to ask Gaia to ground Earth and anchor you fully and completely, physically and energetically, mind, body and spirit to her now, please. Gaia. So excuse me, there's a bit of clearing happening. You might have some blocks to being uh, fully grounded, anchored or connected into Gaia's energy. I'm seeing like a purple light, purple ray coming from Gaia. This is also your opportunity to connect in to Gaia's energy just to see what you can pick up with your psychic senses. So you might see uh, the purple energy in your mind's eye. You might get a flash of purple behind your eyelids. You might hear Gaia. You might experience temperature changes or feel a different energy or presence. You might just know that she's there, get a strong sense that she's with you. You also might uh, taste or smell. It all just depends on your strongest and your dominant sense. As Gaia sends this purple light energy up through the different levels and layers of the earth and it spirals around that white grounding cord that we anchored from source and moves up into your earth star chakra bringing with it the energy of grounding safety security being held as this energy continues to spiral up into your feet just really grounding your feet into the energies of the earth providing a solid stable foundation for you to walk about the earth, go about your business, as this purple energy continues to travel up your shins, your calves, your knees, your thighs, and into your root. And it grounds you, it anchors you, it connects you into the heart of Mother Earth Gaia. Stabilizes your energy field, brings you back into balance. As this energy continues to flow up your abdomen and chest, down your shoulders, arms and into your hands as Gaia places her hands in yours in support of this healing today she offers some words of encouragement which are going to be individual to each and every one of you. So just taking a few deep breaths. And allowing her to transmit this message to you.
Thank you very much, Gaia. As the purple energy, Gaia's grounding energy, continues to travel up your throat and into your face, your head, over your chin, your lips, your nose, your eyes, your ears, your forehead and into your crown. Just grounding any excess energy, particularly in the mind, in the mental body. If your mind is kind of overactive and out of balance, this energy is just going to be sent down into the earth for grounding to bring some balance and harmony to your mental body. Any sort of stuck or stagnant energy or emotions in your emotional body are also going to be grounded into the earth as well. So your mental body is left clear and your emotional body is left clear as well and balanced and harmonized and grounded. I'm going to ask for your assemblage points to be balanced and harmonized as well. And if there's any stress or tension in the body, that that's going to be grounded into the earth to be transmuted by Gaia. So you're just left relaxed with a feeling or a sensation of peace. As this energy continues to spiral up into your soul star chakra above your head and up further still into your stellar gateway chakra. And I'm going to ask that you are plugged into the grid either a galactic grid or an earth grid that's best for you at this time depending on whatever it is that you need thank you so that you are fully and completely supported above and below by the energies held secure and safe for this light language transmission So I'm going to call in Archangel Michael, calling in Archangel Michael, calling in Archangel Michael. And I'm just going to ask Michael to activate, activate, activate any and all protection that is best for you at this time. So it's going to be different for everyone, but Michael is going to activate the best form of protection for you. So it could be the armor of God. It could be a blue shield of Michael. It could be the Anana. It could be titanium shields I'm hearing or mirror shields. Um, just getting the sense that it's up to you to just tune in with yourself. To ask or maybe have a sense already of which protection is being put in for you. And I'm just going to ask that that be anchored into your energy field. Thank you very much, Michael. And I'm just being guided to have a look at your aura. I'm going to ask Michael if there's any holes, rips or tears in your aura, if your aura needs any sort of work or needs to be brought back into balance, that they be healed and repaired. And your aura is brought back into balance and harmony. It's recalibrated so that it is functioning optimally for your highest and greatest good doing all that it needs to and it's shiny bright and clear and again just an opportunity to connect in with Archangel Michael's energy to see what you can sense with your psychic senses as he 
does a little bit of work on your aura your auric fields Thank you very much, Michael. And I'm hearing Archangel Metatron is going to take point on this healing. So I'm just going to ask him to activate, activate, activate and lower down a pillar of white light down around each and every one of you. And to anchor that into your energy field as well. And again, just an opportunity to connect in with Metatron's energy, to see, sense, to see what you can pick up with your psychic senses. Thank you very much, Metatron. And now I'm just going to channel some light language. But as I am just about to do that, I am seeing a squirrel running across the path in front of me. So I'm going to take that as another message from the universe. Take it if it resonates for you. And as before, tuning in to see what the message is or simply just searching the spiritual meaning and taking what resonates. I'm hearing it's for abundance. As a bell starts ringing. And I'm just going to channel the light language.
and I'm just joined by the energy of the wind and the rain that are just going to sweep in and clear and cleanse your energy field of any remnants or sort of energetic debris of these curses, black magic, <coughs> so that you're left completely free and cleared, cleansed. I'm also going to ask Archangel Zadkiel, calling in Archangel Zadkiel, calling in Archangel Zadkiel and asking Zadkiel just to pass the violet flame down through all levels, layers, bodies and fields of your energetic system. It's just to clear, cleanse, completely remove and transmute any energy that might have come up to be released from that light language transmission. Thank you, Zadkiel. <coughs> and my throat is just going, <laughs> is going in my voice. So I am feeling like there might be have been curses placed around your throat chakra, your voice, your ability to speak the truth or to use the power of your voice to stand up for yourself, I'm hearing. <coughs> A lot of clearing around those sorts of curses. Uh, some curses being lifted around your psychic gifts. Um, so kind of like a curse or like a block. Some dark energy preventing you from uh, realizing the full potential of your gifts. Uh, your intuition, your psychic senses. Uh, some curses being lifted around like... Excuse me. Clearing? Um like you not being able to move forward or take steps in your path uh, curses around success like limiting your success curses around money curses around that we're targeting your heart and the things that you loved even some sort of death curses like premature debts <coughs> So some of you have like knives, swords and daggers stuck in the throat. So I'm just going to ask Metatron to remove these gently from you now. And that's from the throat and the throat chakra. <sighs> Much better. <laughs> My voice. I'm going to ask Metatron just to transmute those swords and heal and repair your throat and your throat chakra. And I'm um, also sensing some other daggers down your back, energy of backstabbed and betrayal. So I'm going to ask Metatron to gently pull those out of you, 
Now to transmute them with the violet flame and heal and repair all the areas where those daggers have been removed, please, Metatron. Thank you. So I'm just tuning in to see if there's anything else that I'm hearing we can close down. So I'm going to ask Metatron to ensure that you're fully embodied and fully grounded, earth anchored, connected and aligned to the heart of Mother Earth Gaia. As some of you might have just popped out as a result of receiving those high frequency energies. And a... I was going to say I thought it was a spider, but it's a bug of some sort, I think. I don't know what type of insect has just landed on my camera. Thank you, Metatron. I'm going to ask Metatron to uh, balance, harmonize, stabilize, recalibrate and realign all levels, layers, bodies, fields and systems of you now. To bring you back to peace and harmony, curse free, black magic free, and full immunity. Thank you, Metatron. I'm going to ask him to zip up your aura, zip up your aura, zip up your aura, zip up your aura on all sides so you feel strong, safe and secure and confident within your energy field. I'm going to ask that anything that was opened be closed down now. Healing portals, vortexes, channels. Anything that was open, close you all down now, please, Metatron. I'm just going to ask Minitron to disconnect me, disconnect me, disconnect me from all of those people who um, gave their permission to receive this energy healing. I'm going to return your energy to you and take my energy back, call my energy back to me. Thank you, Metatron. I'm just going to thank all of the angels and the energies that were present during this light language healing transmission. And to you for being here, for taking part, to res for receiving this transmission. Thank you all so very much. From my heart to yours, namaste. So, as always, I'm, I'm going to leave a few aftercare instructions in the description box because you just have received some high frequency energy. Uh, you might be feeling a little bit tired. Uh, you might be feeling wired. It all just depends. Um, but a really good thing to do if it feels right for you is to just lie down for about an hour to allow the energies to settle 
um, to allow your system to recalibrate as it has just taken in uh, some high frequency energy. So it just needs to rebalance itself. And as you do this, some other lower vibrational energy might come up to the surface to be cleared. You also might receive some clarity or guidance as you just, or insights as you just lie down and let this energy settle. Um, good idea to drink lots of water, have a shower, have a bath, and Epsom salts, if that feels good for you. I'm just going to ask if there's anything else that I need to say. No, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this light language transmission. Thank you so much for being here, for tuning in. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.